hard to recall exactly when you learned particular things. Yes. Had it come to light by this stage, so August, September, that some $90,000 had come from the Workplace Reform Association to acquire the Kerr Street property? I, I, don't, re I don't remember. Well, was it put to you that um, some of the funds to acquire the property had come from the slush fund, if I can call it that, that Ms Gillard had set up? I don't remember. Was the real problem that was being raised, the concern that union money may have been diverted into the incorporated association? I think that was one of the concerns. Well, you used the word um, <coughs> corruptly, corrupt use of the money. What, what, what was said to you to develop that proposition? Why was that well, suspicious? The, the other thing um, which occurred at the same time are the matters that I dealt with later in my statement about which I cannot inform you because of privilege. Yes. That too was informing um, the discussion about um, what Julia Gillard did or didn't do. But that really, um, without delving into the um, detail of the advice, which for the reason you've indicated you um, don't want to travel into, um, that really dealt with a different matter, didn't it? That related to um, the possibility that funds had been moved in a particular way in 1995 or later. Um, the point that you're adverting to in 3.4 is a concern that had begun to be aired by some partners of the firm about Ms Gillard's involvement in the conveyance of the property at 85 Kerr Street, Fitzroy. And what I was endeavouring to explore with you is what precisely was the concern in relation to that conveyance that was aired. Well, I think all I can say is if Mr Wilson had been involved in wrongdoing later, um, what was the... What, what had occurred earlier was the question that was swirling around Slater and Lorden at that point. What had occurred earlier was the question swirling around Slater and Gordon? Well, well what was the question swirling around Slater and Gordon? Well, you're inquiring into privilege matters. No, I'm not. I'm, the privilege matters relate to what occurred in 1995. I'm actually asking you about the concern about the conveyance, which was in 1993. Well, uh, what you can't do, I don't think, Mr. Dolchar, is separate the two, because um, what was uh, concerning the partners was the relationship of Julia with Mr. Wilson and what Mr. Wilson may or may not have been up to.